Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to dive back into Kenji, the finally released version. We're starting with the default scenario and without any further ado, let's get this started. Hello, this is Nathan and apparently the sun is very bright. Have a look at my statistics. They are pretty bad. What I want to do first of all is level up my statistics and the first two statistics I want to focus on are the athletic skill which is gonna make us run faster and the strength skill over here. We can carry more stuff etc etc. The skill system is pretty extensive in this game. It is also a slow game so expect a lot of cutting around in this series. Without any further ado, let's get this started. I already have a plan how I want to achieve that. We're gonna go over to Squin. So let's click right over here, unpause the game and Nathan is gonna go. I think it's time to speed this up a little bit and if we have a look at the statistics, hover over athletics, we can see that we are actually leveling up the skill right now just by running around. What we want to do in the beginning of the game is basically avoid everything that is gonna kill us, which is everything because we are the weakest of the weakest. Athletics is coming along nicely, so I think I don't have to look out for that too much. However, we are being chased by bandits. I almost uh, missed that, actually. I stopped here. We want to run to the town, of course, over there. There we go. Now they're being taken apart. Let's actually watch this spectacle. So welcome to the combat of Kanji. We, we do not want to get hit. Just run around. It is too early to get hit. Well, actually, maybe we can get a hit in here, right there. <laughs> so that's basically what you have to do in the beginning. Just run to a city if you're under attack. But as soon as this guard is finished with this guy, I think we have the possibility to loot these. I'm gonna steal that and I'm gonna steal that. Actually, we could even wear it. Ooh, this guy even got some boots. Hello, I wanna trade with you. Yeah, let, let me come around the counter. Why not? What I want from you is a couple of bandages and I also want to sell you that. I should be able to do that. Yeah, fencing chance 100% because they are bandits. The backpack we should find in this store. Yeah, I think what I want is a wooden backpack to begin with and that is 800. Let's go outside of town and actually come around here because there is a copper vein. Now this is gonna take quite a while and what we are leveling with this is the laboring skill. Oh, 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 that doesn't look good. Starving bandits. Okay, so we have to run away from these guys. Fortunately enough, I didn't pick up any of the resources yet. So we are empty and we should be able to run away from them. So I wanna try to outrun them actually. Like, uh, run around? Yeah, that seems to be working. Nathan is fast already. Well, not too fast. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, guards, help me, help me. Oh, that's better. That's what I'm talking about. Now I just have to run in circles. Let, let's attack this guy. He's on the ground. Come on, Nathan, do something. Attack him. Uh, man, not sure what's going on. I think this guy is just playing that. Yeah, he's just playing that. Man, this game is weird sometimes. But there we go. I'm getting all of the weapons. Oh no, he's getting up. He's getting up. <laughs> Run away. Or maybe we can we can take him on. I mean, he's pretty beaten up already. L let's attack him. Nathan, d do something. Ah, we're, we're in block mode. Of course. Maybe we have to get out of block mode. Ah, there we go. We are actually attacking. That's what I'm talking about. Give me your weapon now. Finally. Okay, cool. Time to buy some food and a backpack. Show me your goods. I want a wooden backpack and I'm giving you a couple of these and maybe you can also have... Uh, do we... Oh, we don't have the ore yet. And we just have not enough to get the backpack. Well, let's sacrifice one of our basic first aid kits. There we go. Now we go back to mining. We're actually a little bit hurt from the looks of it, so what I should be doing is bandage myself up. Let me see. There we go. Just have bandages in your backpack and right click. This is giving you a chance to actually heal. Alright, time to collect some of that juicy loot. The wooden backpack actually allows you to stack materials. In the output we can only have 5 copper. After that, Nathan is just gonna stop. There we go, my laboring is already up to 18 and we have two full stacks of copper. 
Now, I think I'm gonna leave it be at that for the time being. This is pretty much probably going to level up my strength, as you can see right there. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna have a look in town and probably buy some food at the bar right here. By pressing Alt, you can see everything important in the immediate vicinity. Now, as long as we have the food in our backpack or inventory, our character is automatically gonna eat when he needs. Oh, your laboring skill actually suffers in darkness, minus 56%, that's intriguing. So maybe during the night you better run. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's stop this. We carry enough for the time being. We're gonna go through the town and then back to the town we started at. Yeah, we're definitely very slow. However, that's exactly what I want. I want to level up my strength. Strength 4, and it doesn't seem to slow down as you level up, so seems realistic to get this pretty high. Here we go, we have arrived at the bar. Hopefully we can trade our cup for a reasonable price. Ah, it's even priced better than usual, so we're already above 3000 cats again. Athletics 8, and I want to get close to 30, so I would say we're gonna skip this part, and I'm gonna meet you right back when we're ready for the next step. All right, guys, we are back. I took about 14 days of training in order to get my very weak character up to par. If we have a look at my character sheet, you can see I have now athletics of 32, strength of 37. We also have a stealth stat of 30, which I trained up by just sneaking around in a town. And finally, my laboring stat went all the way up to 57, collecting all the precious iron. We actually also got 12,000 cats from that. And just so that you can see that on camera as well, we have collected some more ore that we're gonna sell right now. So let's have a quick look at the bar. We are actually currently in the hub. If we have a look at that on the map, it is right here. This is the place where we want to be in order to do the next step in our training program. But first of all, let's sell all this shebang. This should give us some nice good money. Well, let's uh, purchase some cooked vegetable here as well. With the money we just accumulated, we want to go all the way to the back of the hub, where we will actually find the shinobi thieves, I think they're called. And if we pay them a lot of money, we will actually gain access to an important area. Hello, I'm Nathan. I'm the new guy. So you want in on the shinobi? Yes, I want to join the Shinobi Thieves. You can join for a fee. Just a fee? I don't have to complete a test or prove myself? No, but just a one-time membership fee of 10,000 cats. And yes, I recommend you doing that. Should we maybe ask what we get in return for all of this? Allies. Oh, that's important. Hideouts too. Ah, Shinobi Thieves stick together. That sounds good. Specialist training equipment. Can sell my stolen stuff. And discounts. Yes, sign me up. 10,000 cats. Welcome, brother, to the Shinobi Thieves. What we want to do is have a look at the training dummy. I think they have some advanced training dummies that we can use in order to level up our thievery and assassination. Yeah, look at that. Those are like training boxes, aren't they? Locksmith training box too. This is gonna make things so much easier instead of training on the real stuff and getting caught all the time. We just train here a little bit. So they have normal training dummies and then assassination dummies. Well, that is gonna be pretty useful. Let's actually speed up time a little bit and see how fast we do that pretty quickly. So I guess we're gonna get our lockpicking skill up as well and then the assassination. And this is gonna get me to the next step. Now this skill is actually useful even if you don't plan on doing any thievery. Because uh, you could get enslaved, for instance, if you get into the wrong situation and then it helps you to get out of the cage. Or maybe there are abandoned shacks or stuff like that. Now actually, I think I'm gonna do that off camera here as well. I'm gonna bring this up to 30, but first I wanna test this training dummy. I wanna see if this really does level assassination and yes it does. Even very quickly, look at that. We're gonna bring it up as much as we can. I think at some point it probably stops with the training dummy. But yeah, with that out of the way, I'm gonna be right back as soon as this step is completed. Alright guys, we are back and I actually totally forgot that I had the game running. I had to wake up my son and then I just forgot about it and I was training like crazy. Look how long this level actually takes. But I decided to see this level through 
We are going to be 19 in assassination and we also have 20 in lockpicking. What we want to do now is leave the hub, of course, with enough food, which I do have, and we're going to search for some bandits. We want to snatch one of them away in order to play with them and train up some of our skills. Well, well, here we have some bandits. However, they are in a large group. What I have to do is sneak up on one of them, knock them out and then run away with them. But I probably can't do that as long as they are this close together. I mean, one of them is surely gonna survive. Uh oh, they discovered me. Okay, time to run. Time to freaking run. Thanks to our athletic skill, we are of course the fastest. So we might have to wait for them a little bit. Come, boots, 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 boots. I'm gonna bring them to the guards. And then we're gonna snatch one of the survivors. Oh, hold the phone. This city actually does not have any guards, does it? There are some outlaws. They might actually help. Uh, guys, are you ready to help? Come on, guys. Don't just stand around. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Someone is helping, I think. I can just pay them. Whew. Okay, M maybe we can just pay them 500 cats. That's easy. No, no, no. That was the other... So I just paid the other guy. Let's go into the hub. <laughs> Man, I thought this would be an easier task. Well, in this case, we're gonna attempt to flee into this direction. I don't want to be beaten up. That is not the idea. Let's see if we can actually make them split up or give up at some point. Oh, this game is great. <laughs> this game is absolutely brutal. They are following me forever. I mean, look at these bastards. They're not gonna give up. Great, I managed to separate one single guy from the... Uh-oh. <laughs> Were they going for me? Yeah, they are starving bandits. There they are. <laughs> I want to get a large group to the guards. Then we can choose our victim or, or friend, I, I, I want to say. Okay, unfortunately, we only got two, but uh, that, it's better than nothing, I would say. There we go. Come on, go KO. That's what I'm talking about. No, they took them away. Bastards. Okay guys, looks like we get another chance here. It is actually in the middle of the night, which is substantially helping, I would say. We're gonna go into sneak mode and yeah, look at that. They don't even see us. 60% though. Come on, we need to get this guy. I believe in our skill. Yes, yes, and... Ah, it failed. It failed. Run, run. They're coming for me. Okay, that's not good. Okay, hopefully they leave me a body. I want to take one with me. Oh, this guard is actually checking me. Show them your gear. Yeah, I have nothing to hide. Okay, let's pick you up. Great, we got one. <laughs> okay, let's hide a little bit. We want to heal this guy up. Actually, before he wakes up. Put down. There you go. And we want to search you. Give me everything here. Just give me everything. First aid. That's what we want to do. After all, he's my friend and my punching bag. Good. We are both naked, no weapons. And now we're gonna beat each other up. And this is hopefully gonna increase my toughness. Let's actually look at that. Toughness, yeah, already too. Ah, we also dodged. That's good. So that should have increased our dodge rating. Already 19%. And now we're beating him up and he's already unconscious again. Okay, let's just heal him up again. And then we're gonna pick him up until he recovered a little bit. <laughs> nope, there's something going on here. Who are you? Outlaws. Maybe we can actually snatch some loot from here. Uh, hold the phone. Maybe we should get away from here. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Get away! <laughs> Thankfully, animals do give up sooner than humans. Now, I wonder, I would like to build a sleeping bag of some sort. So let's have a look into the building menu. Camping, maybe. A camp bed. So can we build the here can't build too close okay ah and there confirm cool okay now we have to build it and we probably need some materials namely a sleeping bag let's see if we find that in the bar hello i hope nobody is bothered by me carrying around someone here nope doesn't look like they've got any sleeping bags unfortunately well okay unfortunately that means we have to go back to the other town and try to find a sleeping bag i'll meet you right there there we go, the trader in the second city we found actually has some sleeping bags. So I'm gonna snatch one of those 
And hopefully we can build it nearby this city as well. Ah, there we go. This looks like a fairly secure location to sleep. So that's where I'm gonna build my sleeping bag. Yeah, put down. Is he gonna get... Oh, hold the phone. No, he's still unconscious. Okay, that gives us the opportunity to build this thingy my job. And then I wonder if that is going to work. We're gonna pick him up again and then I want to put him into the bed. There we go, because now he's going to heal a lot faster. And no, he got up. <laughs> you idiot. Wait, wait, wait. Y you need to get unconscious again. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> but you're my training partner. Oh yeah, we're, we are dodging. And we're getting tougher, hopefully. That's what I call training. He does get a few hits in, I have to say. Wait, 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 wait. Nathan, what are you doing? Oh, guys, this is so funny. <laughs> this is just part of the training. There you go. Finally. Cool. So now I guess I have to beat him unconscious the entire time. I don't know how this is going to work out. However, did it help? Dodge? Well, that's going to take a long time, including martial arts. It's fun, nonetheless. Let's see if he gets up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <sighs> Attack target. Come on, guy. Go back to bed. Well, I guess I'm going to meet you back once we're, we're done with the training. <sighs> okay, so what can I tell you about the past few days in-game? Basically, this first guy beat the crap out of me, and then he just ran away. So I had to search for another guy, and to make sure that doesn't happen again, I, I trained a little bit on the training dummy. However, I didn't give him enough time to recover, and now he lost his left leg. I think it's still somewhere around here. No. It must have despawned. No, <laughs> actually it's still rolling down here. Oh no, I can pick it up. We should pick it up. Maybe we can actually stitch it back. <laughs> there we go. There, There is the leg. Anyways, this guy is currently recovering and every now and then I'm actually picking him up and putting him next to the bed. He actually gave up. He doesn't get out of the bed anymore. But there we go. We just put him down. He's gonna be unconscious for a little bit, but then he's gonna try to crawl away because he's at the moment still crippled. Well, he's gonna be crippled forever. I'm so sorry. I wanted to have a fair match with you. Anyways, now I'm training my martial arts skills with him. And the way we do that is attack unprovoked. There we go. Every hit we get a little bit of martial arts in. Beautiful. And he just attempts to run away. I'm mostly hitting him in the chest and the stomach. But there we go. Now, now he's actually playing dead. What a wuss. So back into the bed he goes. We can even do a little bit of first aid. Come on. There we go. You cannot do first aid in bed. That is weird. He goes back into bed and I continue mining a little bit. There we go. It's night time. It's time to sell all of the junk and make some money. Beautiful. You take all of my copper. It's still worth enough to justify it. That reminds me, I actually also purchased these maps in order to reveal some stuff on the actual world map. For instance, now we have this lone shack, we have way station, though I explored this before. We have the swamp village. Yeah, everything that is marked in green, we now know where it is and we might want to explore it later on. Here we can also see how we stand with the various factions, pretty neutral at the moment. We have a research tab, we get to that in the future. And of course, we're also going to accumulate a lot of people. But the first episode is all dedicated to getting strong. You can see how much I've been beaten up by the amount of toughness we have. 18. So I'm only helping this guy at the moment. His toughness is already 21. He can take a beating. So I don't want to hear anything in the comment section about this. Are we clear? <laughs> Alright then, I guess I'm gonna be right back as soon as we get to the weapons training and we are gonna exchange this guy. This is just a wuss, he's just, just crawling away. See you in a second. Alright guys, we are back and it is actually quite a bit later. I just had too much fun in this game, running around with my character, gaining skills and slowly but surely becoming a badass. If we have a look at my statistics right now, we can see assassination is a little bit higher. We also gained thievery. I'm not sure how that happened. Probably from looting corpses. We have a lot in uh, stealth at the moment, but most importantly, we upgraded our combat statistics and I went into katanas. I, I liked the combat style the most. 
However, we will have to train all of the other skills as well. Of course, we also have a lot in medic because I got beaten up a lot. As you can see from my toughness, which is 30. However, now one on one with a normal bandit, we usually have the upper hand with our statistics. It is now time to stop our lonely life and actually get a squad together. In the beginning, it's gonna still be very small. And I actually want to start with an animal. And if I'm not mistaken, earlier I've seen someone here who sells just that. Ah, there we go, right there, here. He is actually not leaving. Everyone else is leaving for some odd reason. But there we go! Show me what you have. You have a couple of animals, and I think what I'm interested in is a pack bull. So that's exactly what I want to buy. There we go. We can even uh, give him a name. Bully. There we go. It even comes with a backpack, doesn't it? Bull backpack. Look at that. We have so much freaking space. Alrighty, our first successful recruitment. I would say we're gonna go back to the hub and see what we can get there. There's also a new backpack I want to get. So let's see how that actually goes. Uh, Nathan is much faster, so let's switch into adaptive speed mode, I guess. We can actually also name our squad and I think our faction, so I would like to hear a couple of suggestions for those. Beautiful, we have arrived at the hop, let's actually see what we can find in the bar. We can talk to a couple of guys. Hops, this is a drifter. Okay, we're talking to Hops, he wants to tell us a story. Can't be bothered to read that to you, but I guess that sounds amazing, how did you find it? Ah, right there. Then I will grant you your wish, whatever you said, old oh, man. Join us in the search of this beast. We just got a free recruit. Well, he's not really good at anything, we will have to train him up. But he already got some basic equipment, we still have to get him a weapon. Oh, look at that, she actually wants to join my crew, just like that. Oh no, she wants 3000 cats, which is the standard price for new recruits, so I think we're gonna pay her. We can even adapt her looks if we want it, that's kind of a weird mechanic, and we can also adjust her name. So for future recruits, also suggest me names down in the comments. Now, she already has a katana, which isn't bad, and some pants. They will be mining copper mostly. Well, for now, I'm just gonna give them 5 dried meat each, the bull already has some stuff in his inventory, I just hope they are going to eat that. Now what we have to do is we have to find a good copper vein, preferably a cluster of veins. For instance right here we have two veins fairly close together and there's even a third one. So we could each work on one vein and I'm just gonna send the bull back and forth in order to collect the, the ore. So Nathan you are gonna work right there. Then we have Hops, who's gonna work here, and we have Heft, who is gonna work right there. Oh, actually right here we have a large copper resource that might even be better. I think I'm gonna go for that. Hops and Heft. You guys, you could work on this one instead. So I guess for now we're gonna store them in here, because every time that happens I have to reactivate the command. No, actually I can shift click and this is gonna add a job. And they will always get back to it when they can. Well, I guess I'm gonna send Bully over to them. I hope we are not gonna lose this guy. Oh, okay, he takes a more intelligent way. No, oh, I'm not so sure about that. He's gonna take a long way around. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna be doing the next, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And once we're ready to sell, I'm gonna be right back. Alright, I've been mining for approximately two days and I figured out that the trading range to the bully is actually pretty far. So what I could do is just walk over to this mountaintop, select the ore and collect everything. However, one thing I noticed is my bully doesn't actually level up in athletics. Every time he makes a level it just doesn't go up with the number. Now just to prove you that, uh, we are gonna walk over here. Let's actually... Hover over athletics. 89, 99, and it just goes back to zero without giving me a level. So that is a little bit unfortunate. We seem to have a bucked bully here. However, we collected a lot of ore, as you can see right here, and we're still doing it. Great, bully is back. Let's bring Nathan into the bar and do some trading. Hello, I want to sell you some stuff. Okay, cool. It's still worth 204. That is perfect. Let's go ahead and sell everything. 
Ah, with Shift I can actually sell an entire stack and the shopkeeper cannot afford it anymore. What a pity. Well, we want to buy some food anyways, right? I wanted some more bandages for Nathan and also dried meat. We take all the food you have, actually. Alright then, Bully and Nathan, it's time to go to the thief's place over here. Maybe they have a vendor too. We have a nice piece of armor here, which seems to be at a discount. This is cool, but what we really want is the thief's backpack. That is what I wanted. So what I have to do is I will have to get rid of mine. This is two and a half thousand. It's going to be worth it because I'm not going to suffer any drawbacks from this when I want to go on a thieving run. There we go. Thief's backpack. It is actually not even smaller. It might even be larger, but I paid a lot for it. Ooh, actually, this katana is not that bad. It is also pretty expensive, but it has like an enormous cutting damage. Yeah, let's actually do that. I think I'm gonna buy myself this katana. Does this have like less range because it is shorter? It even has an indoor bonus, which I don't have on mine. Yeah, let's totally do that. I'm gonna purchase this katana and this is gonna go to one of my colleagues. I'm gonna grab this. I'm going to give the backpack to Heft. I think I'm gonna make her the bimbo for everything. Let's go ahead and as a group, we're gonna make our way over to Squint. Or Squint, I should say. We can get rid of the rest of the copper there, maybe purchase some more food. And after that, I guess I will have to do one more copper run before we can finally get into the settlement building in the next episode. Ah, my bully finally got Athletics 5. Man, I hope this is gonna fix itself. Nasty little bug. I think we're being attacked. Yeah, this guy is attacking us. Now let's see what we want to do. We want to taunt with Nathan because he's got the best defense at the moment. Nathan, you need to attack this guy. He's attacking the bully. Now we're going for it. Everyone hack and slash. Come on, it's just a measly bone dog. No, leave, leave heft alone. Oh, uh, my bully is also helping. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, a thief's backpack doesn't stack items. I see the problem. Anyways, now it's time to heal up. Oh man, I'm so so- Bully is dying actually, but I think we can save him, right? Yeah, there we go. Now he's just unconscious. There we go. Actually, I can make this a job. Now, whenever someone is damaged and I'm nearby and don't do anything else, I'm going to heal them up. Bully is still unconscious, but I guess I should be able to pick him up, right? Cool. Also, search the dog. Yeah, give me all that stuff. Sell, sell, sell. Okay, now I can actually carry him around. It does look a little bit funky, but it's all gonna work out. That is hilarious. And look how fast I can still run. We're gonna sell some stuff here in the bar. D don't mind the bull. Um, all... Ooh, that's expensive, man. Okay, I'm gonna buy some dried meat then. And of course, also our copper. Here we actually get good money for it. Good, look at that. We have 28,000 cash. That's not too bad to begin with. I mean, we're gonna need building materials and we're also gonna need arm plates. Maybe I should buy them already. We're gonna need at least 12 of those, so that's maybe 1,300. I mean, he doesn't even have 12 at the moment, but we also need at least six of the building materials. And when we see some more plates, maybe in the next city, I'm gonna purchase more. This is going to allow us to get a little settlement started, at least the beginning of it. All right, I would say at this point, we are actually going to wrap up this first episode. Where the heck is my group? Right here. Bully is still recovering from Komwa, but I guess we can just uh, carry him around. Shouldn't be an issue at all. Cool, well, with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.